Hey, I know what it feel like to be young and single. You know the life when your pockets got a bunch of singles. Up, you know, take this is uh, the On Average Fools podcast, episode 10, I believe, or 11. I'm not too sure. I don't ever remember. So today we have Joaquin and we have Ralph. And the topic of today's video is going to be. Um, so I made a video basically. Cause Valentine's Day is coming up. Oh shit! We don't talk about that. <laughs> <Valentine's Day. laughs> you know, what I mean? you know I, no one's going. <laughs> so Valentine's Day is coming up, and um, I basically made a video, not about like about love, but like kind of like my view on it, and something I wish I would have heard um, when I was broken up with. And I'll show you. The video rough. I showed Joaquin yesterday. Oh, really? So we'll do a live oh, yeah. reaction video, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you ready, we're, we're getting sued for the content. Yeah, let's we'll see. Ralph, don't cry, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be so sad. Yeah, it's a sad Joseph's one. story. I know. But we can all relate, you know? I just, I'm tired and I'm done trying. I just don't want to do this anymore. Who's that? that Dear Joseph. I know that everything hurts right now. For the next couple of months, everything's gonna be shit. The music, the food, the people, you will lose that love you had for life, but you'll be okay. What was that? Know that this isn't gonna be easy. There will be days where you miss your playful little banters, the cute little love poems, and the way she used to hold you. This is not real. Your brain is just rerunning the good memories. You need to remember why you aren't together now. The arguments, the miscommunication, the lack of genuine connection that has faded. I know what you keep thinking. Was this whole thing worth being happy for a little while even though you ended up sad? Or would it have been better if the whole thing didn't happen? I know you might not see it, but this is the good part. This is what love is missing her because she is gone, spending every night thinking about her, wanting to win her back. This is that love you've been looking for this whole time. So hold on to it. Enjoy the heartbreak while you can. The breakup is not the bad part. The bad part is coming. After a while, you will forget about her. You won't care anymore. You won't care about anything. You won't allow yourself to be vulnerable again. You will shut the idea of ever falling in love to protect yourself. You don't want to hurt too much. You think this is the safer way, but it feels like nothing. Absolutely nothing. It was better when you were in love, as painful as it was, than to feel nothing. I think I need to relearn how to be like you. Learning to fall head over heels for someone, to remove the walls you put up, and to feel a genuine connection with someone wholeheartedly. Whatever happens, I just want you to know that you'll be okay. Sincerely, Joe. I told you it was a banger, brother. I told you it was a banger. <laughs> that was good, yeah. But yeah, that's um, that was my take on love. You know. That was good. That was good. <laughs> yeah, a man couldn't put apostrophes in the subtitles though. Oh <laughs> shit! Bro. You know I can't spell. Dude, Premiere does me. not have like spell check. Auto correct. Got him forever. <laughs> You have to go run it back. <laughs> run it back when this is the video. <laughs> yeah, um, that's something like I kind of wish I heard. Mm. I was going through like my shit because I don't know. It felt like I don't know. W one thing that sucked is I didn't feel like I had like anybody to talk to, you know? Because, mm. like, dude, the only person who I talked to about my feelings was. Oh! Oh! Uh, Shorty! Wait, her name is. What do we call her? No, that's way too. Just, just, <laughs> that's don't, just too don't name her. What do we just call her? We we'll just, we'll just call her Carl. We'll just don't okay, name we'll just call. <laughs> we'll just call all our exes our ex. Yeah. <laughs> that. yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. All right. But, um, my ex was the only person I could talk to. You know? mm. And then when she was gone, I mean, I didn't, like, talk to any of you guys about, like, my emotional shit, you know? So. Yeah. Um, yeah, it just, it just sucked because, I don't know, it just felt like I had no one to talk to. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I guess y'all don't know. Y'all don't know how to have a normal conversation then. 
I, I, I did. I did not think we were gonna film this. That was, I had to shave, bro. I, no, when I was when I was when, when I was watching the video though, I'm like, yo, thank God I did not film any of this like this type of shit because like I feel like would, if I were you, if I was to look back on that type of stuff, that shit would break my heart. You didn't feel that shit. Actually? You don't feel that? No, no. no if like no, if filming if, it. If, if I film oh. like that, those kind of videos, and then looking back on it. Okay. Well, that was a couple of years ago, no? Yeah, dude, and at that time, too, um, I didn't even know what Heartbreak was. Mm. So, like, I was kind of, like, filming it, like, without that perspective. Like, I felt, I feel like if I filmed it now, um, my emotions, like, like, that video, like, my emotions would, you know, be more there. Mm. The other thing was, I don't think anyone went through that yet. With yeah, at group. the time, I don't think. I think it was just you. Yeah. And then I don't know. Everyone was doing their their own thing with yeah. with their exes. Yeah. <laughs> and then, I mean, through the video, what I saw was at least you could look. I mean, yeah. Again, Ralph said at least you can look back at it now, and it doesn't hurt you as much. Yeah. I'm surprised you would still keep mementos though. I feel like most people would yeah, would delete that shit. Video, you know. Like, well, I I, I I threw out everything she gave me, like she ever gave me. Except like me, okay. Well, I deleted all the photos too. Mm. But that was like my own short film. That's the only reason why I kept it. Mm. But like, dude, I literally had to throw everything out. I gave everything to Carl. I was like, dude, just fucking throw everything out. But you know what? I wish I would have kept it because yeah. I feel like young love or like teenage love is like so pure and so like innocent, innocent, yeah. naive. Like, yeah, naive, right? I, w I wish like I kept like something from it just so mm. I can be reminded of like what love is because like at least for me for now um I haven't been in a relationship in like a fucking three years. It's been three years. <laughs> it's literally been Man three years. It. <laughs> <I know. laughs> um, what about you? Do you still keep your mementos? Like Okay, funny enough, I have all of them. <laughs> okay. Like, but do, you, but do you hide them somewhere that you can't reach or yeah, see? Yeah, I hide them where I don't see them. I don't really keep them. I don't keep my eye on them at all. I don't look back at them, but I just have them sometimes like, oh, what did this person even mean to me before? Or what did they feel about me before? That's my interest. Or mm. like how everything's changed over the years, right? Because mm. like you date someone, it's always a different person after you break up. Yeah. Like mm. you don't know what happens after. And I guess it's just, yeah, it's super naive because like, okay, my dating phase was a lot just in high school. And I guess I just kept the letters. A lot of it was just letters. So you kept everything from like all your exes? Mm -hmm. I threw out stuff, but I, I just kept the letters. I think those mm. were the most sincere things to have. That's one, that's what I wish I could keep. Cause like, um, in my video, I was even like, uh, the, the cute little love poems, mm. my ex, and I, <laughs> we would, um, each month we'd like write each other like a love poem. See, that's why I'm like, dude, I wish I kept like, just like that teenage mm. love memory, you know? Mm. I don't think I'll ever put put in like that much effort <laughs> since like, back then. Cause like, like, I feel like back then, like we were like, we were so deep into love, you know? Like we would, we would be like, I think it's just we would do stuff like in the movies, you know? Yeah, yeah, I mean, mm. it's, it's all we knew. And it's like, we didn't have a lot of, I guess extracurricular stuff we actually had to focus on. Yeah. And a lot of it was like, okay, high school, who gives a shit? No one's listening. And then we have whatever, we had love. Yeah. And that was something really big within our lives. And like, I let it, I also let it, uh, I guess, take control of me time to time. And yeah. I just wouldn't talk to you fools. <laughs> Cause like, I don't know, it just felt for me, it was like, oh, I have this person to talk to. I don't need anyone else. Is that something you would change back then? Back then? Like you would, I feel like if, if you were to talk, cause if, for me, if I were to talk to my past self, I would tell them to change that one part. Like, yeah, like, you talk like to your friends more? Friends and family. Man. Yeah, for mm. sure. It's cause, cause like, she was definitely in the forefront uh, yeah. for the past like, yeah. like years, you know? It, Go on. Me? Okay. <laughs> Dude, I remember when, yeah. when my ex and I when my ex and I when um she like decided to break up with me like three years ago. Mm. The same day my brothers brought me to her restaurant too. Oh, they shit. wanted they wanted to talk to me. Eggs and breaky. What was it called? Um they wanted to talk to me because they said I wasn't spending enough time with the family. Oh, yeah. So like, I was already like, fuck, fucking mad. I'm like, bro, why are you guys like telling me to fucking do shit? <laughs> and then she, she says that mm. too. Like, that was like the most lonely I've ever felt in my whole life. You know? Mm. It was like, plus not even talking to, like, plus not opening up to friends. Plus my ex leaving me. Plus my family saying, I'm, I need to talk to them more. And I don't like, I don't have like a strong relationship. It just, um, it was just, 
I don't know. It just felt like very lonely, you know. Would you say you were lonely back then? Back then? Mm, or even, or even. I was fucked up because I, I didn't say fuck it. I'm not gonna be lonely. I'm gonna look for someone else. <laughs> that's what happened, oh, right? <laughs> like for real, that's what happened. Like I mean, like earlier on, but obviously there was that one ex, you know, that changed mm. it all. And, she, and then it was like, man, I'm not doing this shit again. Like I need to care more about my partners. Okay, so so I'm gonna play devil's advocate here. Okay, but okay? but would you say that you went into relationships? um employing someone to give you happiness because you don't you don't you don't know what makes you happy yourself mm. well okay in a way it's like yes i needed someone to make me feel happy mm. it was more of like um i felt belonging with someone i just felt like i needed someone to feel uh to Whole? i needed someone that wanted me there because mm. a lot of like you know about my whole past thing mm -hmm. like you know i got i was bullied at the time <laughs> anyway so i just needed a sense of acceptance and it didn't uh, matter from who it came from it just needed yeah. to be from one person but also i don't know why it had to be a woman you know <laughs> it's because of sao bro sao fuck yo, 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 <laughs> but, yo, but, but, yo girl okay, okay guys so this? yeah my fucking mic just died so do you know a thing called um proximity theory no Oh, okay. Okay, so there's this theory yeah. that um, whoever you're like in close proximity to, those are the people that you tend to fall in love with. So you meet you, the whole the whole soulmates idea stems from this. Like okay. you find your soulmate, like out of seven billion people around the world, mm. you find her. I don't know, five kilometers down the road. Dude, that's one <laughs> you thing. Know what I, was, I mean? That's one thing uh. I was thinking about. I was like. Is, is she like the love of my life, dude? She lives like fucking or, a seven yeah, minute drive yeah, away is, from me. Is she the love of your life or is she... Is she just close to yeah, me? She just close she's to just you. physically close to me, dude. dude. But, but do y'all believe in soulmates, though? One fucking question. Okay, Alright, <laughs> so, do you believe in proximity theory? Yeah, I think so. Because, like, how else would we meet... If we weren't fucking like physically close to each other, like I don't know, like I don't picture myself like in fucking like Amsterdam and I like see a girl in, like the red light, that's what I'm saying. Uh, like that's red, red light, the red dress. Like, oh my fucking god, bro! <laughs> but, yeah, then that's what, but then that's what soulmates are, because soulmates are like as soon as you see them, they're like oh, they're mm. the one. You know? I don't know, dude. Okay, I I don't believe in that. Or at least in like a short period amount of time, you, you get to know her like so much within that within that short amount of time. Yeah, dude. I I think. Okay, that that whole theory of like, oh, when you see someone like you instantly fall in love with them, dude. That's just that's physical attraction. There's no way you can fall in love with like a fucking stranger like out of fucking nowhere. Yeah. I don't know. What do you guys think? I don't think so. I've only had one instance, but it's like, what if it's just like, what if it's just like arousal? What if it's just sexual? Then like, then oh damn, she's mad. Yeah, you that's just need that's to bust like, the nut. You know? <laughs> like, but there was this one time. There was one time at McDonald's. I was stunned, bro. I couldn't really? speak. This is the first time I've ever like I couldn't Seen speak. A girl? She was like, <laughs> she was, I mean, she was a customer, and she was just like. I don't know, she was just really pretty. She had like a sundress on or something. Mm, the I, sundress is fucking <laughs> up, brother. Anyway, <laughs> I literally hand her, like whatever, her food. And she's like, thank you. And she looks at me and I just like didn't say anything because I was so stunned. <laughs> and I was so embarrassed. And I'm like, oh my god. I looked at, I looked at manager Nicole and I'm like, wasn't she gorgeous? <laughs> Manager. <laughs> I said that's pretty cool. Like the black Yeah. <laughs> and then I don't know, it just it just came out of me. I just couldn't hold myself. I was just like, damn, I should have talked to her because I said like three words probably. Mm. Her order number, her order. Yeah. <laughs> and have a nice day. <laughs> <laughs> You're a real talker. <laughs> hey bro, shut up. <laughs> but uh, yeah, proximity theory, I mean it's just natural. I think it's natural for you to fall in love with someone you're close to. I mean yeah. It's just, you know, like, what are you going to do? Go, I mean, you could, you could go on MSN. I, I told, I told Omegle. Yeah. <laughs> I told someone, I'm like, I, I believe in it, but, but it, like, it makes sense. Cause like not, not the average person doesn't travel to like exotic places yeah. every fucking month. You know what I mean? Yeah. Is there a date to I, that theory? Huh? Is a there date? a date for that theory? Did someone, date? yeah. Who made it and when did it make it? If, if ever, mm. if that was a thing. Oh. Okay. Do you, so do you guys believe in soulmates? 
Nah. I believe in more than one. Hmm. You believe in more than one soulmate? Yeah. Polygamy? No, <laughs> soulmate doesn't necessarily yeah, yeah, mean like yeah. you have to fall in love with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they could just be like your best friend. There's just someone you vibe with like uh, extremely well, you know? Yeah. Or someone that you, like a partner. I believe in multiple soulmates. Okay. But but if we're talking in like partner sense, like, you know, romantic partners, I don't, I don't think there's a soulmate. I think it's just, um... I think it just varies. Like you meet someone and you feel like you're everything to them, yeah. and then someday it just doesn't work out. And then you give it a, you give it your all in every other relationship. I mean, at least for me, <laughs> I try. Yeah. I try my best, right? And then you just you feel like it's all gonna work out, and then something happens and it doesn't work. And like I don't know, I haven't reached that end goal yet. You know what I mean? Mm. I haven't reached that person yet. Mm. So in my opinion, it's just trial and error. I don't think it's. Uh, <laughs> I don't think there's soulmates particularly like meant to be. I used to believe in like, I used to believe in like all that, but now I don't know. I I feel like that had a a part to do with like teenage love or like young love. Yeah. You know, like just like the sparks and shit. This what I do. This why it's getting fucking bad, bro. Like, <laughs> like is is just a a strong connection. Is it just like time spent well together? Like what what forms that connection like if i can like i can't even like recall like why my ex and i were close like bro the only reason why i even liked her is because she liked me back so i'm like even thinking i'm like bro did i even like fucking like her this entire time mm -hmm. it's just like it fucks me up dude mm -hmm. sometimes just thinking about it but this is what we wrote the other day ralph so we can go uh, over what i literally said i'll read this while we're doing the podcast <laughs> so um infatuation that's all i wrote <laughs> Where that, where that conversation stemmed from infatuation that's just that's naivety it comes from naivety like you're you're a kid like you you get infatuated with someone because it's your first person you ever meet with right yeah you ever like fall for and you feel like oh that this is it and this is all i'm gonna have and i feel like i want to work everything out with this one person you, you know you, but you can't deny like like the the first the first um, the, fir the first the first couple of like months or years or whatever that you're with your with your girlfriend for the first time that's just like pure ecstasy yo. definitely because like, it's the first time you're feeling it right that's like peak like butterflies in your yeah, stomach it's like can't the sleep first time night. you bust a nut like it feels so <laughs> good and then you keep doing it and it's just like oh you just get sad yeah, I, remember, <laughs> I remember i remember back then like i would get like a 20 like 20 dollars per week for allowance and, okay. I and that's that's for lunch mm. and i wouldn't eat at all at lunch because that would be my that would be my date money no. really? yeah, that would be my date oh money my God. And, then like, and then I would save that up for like three to four weeks just to go out on a date with her oh my and, and God. treat her out damn no, no, that's that's why I'm skinny. No, I'm just yeah, I was gonna say, I was gonna, I was gonna, I was gonna, I was gonna say a joke. What? Dude, I don't know how I did that with like, I don't know how I went out on dates with less than fifty bucks, yo. I mean, that's what we all did, bro. Gage Park. <laughs> I think that's true. Yeah, 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 his hunting better. grounds is Gage Park, Brampton, Ontario. <laughs> yo, don't 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 let me catch you at Gage Park, bro. It's yeah. over for you there. Yeah. You're not well, safe. Well, people will propose to you right then and there, bro. In the gazebo. Yeah, it's over. It's over. <laughs> um, you. This is a topic you were talking about before, mm. but right person, wrong time. What yeah. do you uh, What do you think about that, Ralph? Yeah, I hundred percent believe in that. Like some people can come into your life, like um, like they could be the right person, but it's just I don't know, wrong timing. Like either you just came from a breakup, like something just yeah, like like, tragedy just fell on your life, like something mm. like that. Like you just can't do something, or you're mm. out of the country or something like that. You're going yeah. to school. You know, it's just some. It's not. It's like um. It was, what was it? It was like, you're meant to be, but not to last. Something like that. Hmm. Yeah. What does, what does wrong time mean? Like, what, what pertains to that person which makes it the wrong time? What, what, do, you, what do you think? I like, think? I think it's like the busyness in their life. Yeah. But what about, what about like internal problems within themselves? Mm. Like, that's what that. I'm thinking. I'll, I'll count that too. Okay. Yeah, I'd count that for sure, dude. Like, I feel like you have to... Dude, I genuinely feel like you have to be happy with yourself before you even, like, do any relationship stuff. That's, like, one thing my ex had a problem with. Like, mm -hmm. I always felt like I was, like, trying to solve her problems, like, her mental issues, and, like, think mm. I was, like, a fucking knight, dude. And that just, like, fucked me up, you know? It's a white knight Counseling. theory. <laughs> I was like, dude, <laughs> it, like, mm. fucked my own, um, 
mental health up, you know? That was not worth it. Definitely wasn't worth it. What do you mean? Like, you tried your best to help her, but she just like, bro, shut up, just listen. I don't need you to say anything. No, she, she actually fixed it. But like, in the process of it, I got fucked up because I was like, helping her so much. And I was also trying to like, this was like when we weren't together. Um, she had like bear problems, dude. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna help you. And I was like, in my head, I was like, dude, it, like if this works out, we can get back together, which is like a bad, yeah. bad perspective to look at it. <clears throat> but I was just like, yeah, we're gonna get back together if I fix everything. And then it just fucked me up because I was fixing it for her and then nothing was happening. So then I just got all fucked up, you know? You just, I mean, in my opinion, you, you just can't sacrifice too much. Yeah. Like if it's a relationship and you're, it's a give and take, you can't be sacrificing all of it. <laughs> Like yeah. yourself for this one relationship, bro. I look back, holy <laughs> shit! I was a like simp. simp yeah, <laughs> Dude, simp it's all me, brother. Simp I mean, yeah. I mean, it's like you have to know what you want, and you have to be able to put your foot down and say, okay, this isn't working. Like yeah. you don't say, oh, we're gonna try to make this work, but it's gonna be super hard. Blah blah blah. I think I think that's naive, you know, yeah. to think of, and it's just, um, I don't know, being being mature about this uh the decision you're gonna make like what's the best what's the best for both of you at yeah. the time in uh, getting back to being safe i fucking hate that word yo <laughs> simp? Dude. yo that's why it's banned on twitch baby <laughs> is it actually is it actually yeah simp is banned on twitch because it's derogatory oh really and i fucking hate that word yo i think something like, else is like you, like you literally can't do anything with the girls yo like if you do something nice for them I mean, they call you, you just simp. look at them bro <laughs> if, if you treat them poorly they call they, sh they call you out i'm like Alright, I'm just gonna stand here then. <laughs> just do, do nothing, bro. Nah, I mean, obviously it's a super underhanded term and it's like exaggerated, but... I, I guess sims are like the incel sims, you know? Where they donate on Twitch and they're like, Shout me out, please! <laughs> yeah. Shout me out, please! And they just shout it out, I'm like, fuck! <laughs> so yeah. Alright, um... What else did I say? You said... Oh, you're proud you took the jump to end things when you realize things aren't going well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I that feel like... I feel like most people who are going through, like, um, a tough time in their in their relationship go through this, like, weird stalemate. Mm. And where you're, like, both afraid to be alone again. So then you kind yeah. of... You kind of try to tough it out. But yeah. then it's like, it just gets a lot harder. Yeah, 100%. It gets so 100%. much harder. I don't know, I, uh, we're br I, I'm proud for the both of us mm. for doing it like mutually and I'm, I'm, I'm so happy and yeah. That's good, man. Um, by the way, so he was in a relationship for four years. I was in a relationship for like two years and like eight months, ten months. And you're in a relationship for... <laughs> in and out. <laughs> Let, let's just say, let's just say I got a lot of game time. <laughs> how, got... how long was your longest relationship? A uh, year and a half. A year and a half. Okay. What What do you think um, was the hardest part of um, the, your breakups? You think? <laughs> you gotta think about that. You first. You first. <laughs> I already kind of said it in the beginning, yeah. but like, mine would be off. mine would be finding that mine would be finding that gray line where you're like, s like figuring out how to be friends again. Mm. Like and like not and like. Mm. Oh, the hardest thing would actually be like not texting her. Yeah, because like, four, yeah, like you have to imagine her. four years, day in and day yeah, out, we would text there. each other. Imagine that. Just the cut of communication is just so weird. It's so different. It's like something's yeah. like missing, you know? Yeah, mm. it's like a routine. You have a routine. It's like and you then didn't. It's gone. Yeah, because like you don't. You just yeah. suddenly stop brushing your teeth. So you got fired from a job, and then like, how, how often do you message her now? Like once a week, or is that? Not enough. I don't even know. I'm not. I'm not keeping track so that like it's not in my mind. But um, I, if I were to say number, I'd say pff, twice a week. Were there any like lines drawn at all? Like oh yeah, were there? Yeah. Like I'd conditions. Say, yeah, we had we had boundaries, but then we would often like just overstep a little, mm -hmm. and then we would kind of correct ourselves. Mm. Yeah, I think I think my biggest problem is just letting go in the first place. I think I, for me, it's like, I really don't want to hurt this person and the breakup's going to hurt either of us. Right. Mm. And it's just like, I really don't want to hurt this person. I want to make this work. And it's just the hardest for me to let go of something. Mm. But like, I have to, like, it's a must. Like if it's, if it's needed, it's needed. But that, I think that's the hardest part for me. Cause I always want to, I like, I want to be there for them. Even if we do break up, I'm just like, oh, 
Like, it's not for pleasantries. I'm literally like, tell me if you need anything anytime that's you the, want. That's the goal. That, but yeah. that's I. That's what I hope for. But obviously, it's up to the other person to even reach out. That's the goal. Like, <laughs> like if you were if you were to see each other, like in the middle of like downtown Toronto, like say for example, mm-hmm. and you cross each other on a sidewalk, like you wouldn't ignore each other. You would just yeah. like say hello and then you know move on to your daily routine. Yeah. That's the goal. Like you're you're you you you're not strangers to each other. Yeah. I mean, with one of my exes, I can I can do that. Mm. But the others? Do you yeah. know who? Do you know one of I my don't. Exes? Can you say like the first letter? <clears throat> so she's small. Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so she's short. Okay. Anyway, yeah, she uh, she she loves art. Okay. I know. Anyway, yeah. You're gonna you're gonna stop with yeah. she's, she's stop short. Small. She's not small. small. She, she she has three. <laughs> she has five siblings. <laughs> I'm joking, she does not have five siblings. But anyway, yeah, I mean, I get to talk to that person. Like, I talked to her yesterday. Really? Just like, yeah. We just, out of the blue. Oh, really? Yeah. That's I mean, sick. I yeah, mean, that's cool. Like, dude. we, like, it's not, it's nothing consistent at all. It's also just like, we can still talk to each other normally. Mm. But obviously, it's been a while. Like, it's, it's been a while since her breakup. Mm. And, um,. Everyone's at a different point in life. Like, yeah, she doesn't. Everyone looks back at that stuff, and it's like it's not as important anymore. Like, they have so much stuff going on, right? And it's like it, they, they can just put this out to the side. And I and I think even within our relationship, it, nothing was bad. It was just a it was a mutual thing, sort of. I had to deal with my shit. Yeah, and then like no, nah, there was no like bad blood or anything. But that's the problem. Was it in the relationship or yours? Like, was there any? Like, bad blood. Big conflict before the breakup. Dude, I think my shit was just <laughs> yeah, yeah. filled with that shit. <laughs> there's like, for me, there's like miscommunication. Um, I don't know, just like a lot of. Dude, you want to see something? Mm. So I don't know if you know the Scrap timeline. Milk. If you, I don't know if you know the timeline of oh my like God, my that? shit, yeah. but like basically, she in January or no, in February she said she wanted to take a break. Or January, she said that, and then February, we were supposed to link, but we mm. never ended up linking. Like we said, we'll link after a month. And then, uh, dude, I was like counting the days next time we'd link, too. It was so bad, bro. Um, but I was like, okay, next time I see her, I wanna say this shit. And it took like two and a half months to see her. Dude, oh. look how long this shit is, bro. How many pages? You and I are like, you know, like with the whole. A writing shit? No, write stuff? I, 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 I said I, this whole thing I to I write her, stuff too if I can't say it. This is like, this is like uh, eight pages long. <clears throat> but um... Fuck, what were we just talking about? Well, it, so like, you said this to her. This. You said this to her. Yeah, because, okay, look at the main topics. The real re- Okay, don't read it though. <laughs> So it was like the real reason why you wanted to break up. Um, people change. That was like another reason. She she didn't think I was gonna change in a month. Bitch, I changed in like a week, bro. Like, I changed in like one hour, bro. But that's a bad thing. You can't do that. For- what, like change for the better? Yeah, but it's like, it's forced. You know yeah. what I mean? It's not for it's yourself. Not it's for her. Yeah. You're yeah, changing that, for that is her. true. It was for her at first, but then it, in the long run, I didn't see it because I was like too close, but it was like for myself. Damn, yeah, that but. was really smart. <laughs> <laughs> that was really smart. That was really smart. Respect, respect. <laughs> you got um, your moments sometimes. Uh, <laughs> Uh, look, look at the sad boy shit, bro. Never truly love me, but I still love you. <laughs> okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait, okay, bro. Okay, wait, wait, wait. With everything, okay. So you're gonna say you said this or when you broke up? Yeah, like th- this was like after we met up, like after our break. My question is, okay, wait, you broke up or you b- had a break? See, that's why, that, that's another thing, the miscommunication, like, was this a break or a breakup? And, like, but, I was hearing everything through B and E, and not through her. Okay, okay my question is, okay. my question is, what's your question? Okay. Like, what's your question? question? <laughs> okay, were, was, okay, did they need to be said? Or do, was that for your own, like, emotional, like... Well, if I didn't say any of this to her, I feel like there'd be things left unsaid, and, like... But, like, was that for you? Like, was that ultimately for no. you or for her? It was for her, cause I needed. But this one, the 
That's that that's that sounds like a you thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> like like that's that's what that's what that's might have been for me. <laughs> no, I mean like for me it's like be as precise as possible and don't put in fillers. That's me. Mm. But like it's kind of like oh I'm putting this out there. It sounds like I mean for me I would feel bad if I heard that. Right. Mm. That's the point, bitch. Yeah, like, I, okay, yeah, I know, I I understand, but it's like, it, yeah, again, is was it even needed to be said? Like, what what was the point of it? Like, you know what I mean? Like, was there was there is there like an ultimate goal for that or the last? Did one? you just want to say it for yourself again, for yourself, or was it for her? Um, because I've definitely said some things that might that should uh, might have not needed to be said because it was somewhat immature and it's like oh i just did this for me because i wanted to feel something about it damn yo you've grown <laughs> i know bro you just haven't talked to me in a while like this I know, I haven't seen, <laughs> you haven't I seen a- this for like what a year <laughs> <laughs> but yeah like for real it's like you there are some things you do say that help you to cope but mm. it's something that doesn't even need to be said like she doesn't need to hear that from you okay you know what in, t- in hindsight, <laughs> but, 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 I think but, you're right. But to be honest, like, but, but, but like, another perspective, like, um, sometimes, like, it, it also, you also have, like, this inner, um, fight with yourself, like, why the fuck do I need to hold back when I'm talking to the person that, uh, that, you know, you're, you're right, that I love, you know, or, but I mean, but I, but you're right, some, some things, you know, don't some need things to can be it, left but, unsaid, like, you don't need to say it. In my opinion, I don't know. I think I was just yo, yo, pissed. That shit fucks me up. I was like, <laughs> no, no, no. The, the reason why I was super, this is why I was pissed, because I was just like, so you couldn't leave it. That's what I'm saying. You couldn't no, leave it. I was you couldn't pissed. leave it. You had to, to say I it. To say it you had to say pissed. it. Okay. Yeah. But is this justifiable? <laughs> uh, okay. It's, it's, it's no, no. you, but it, it's yeah, you. Yeah. You know? l- l- like, l- I mean, listen, listen. This is why. This is why I was pissed. Okay. This is why I said that because there's a specific ex- example. Maybe I was just being like a fucking bitch though. Yeah, as well. <laughs> but for, but for me, if it's if it's gonna be left be, if it's gonna be left behind anyway, I'm just not gonna say it. But okay, so this was like the reason. Okay, maybe it was like too selfish of me, but I mean I've done the same. Yeah, it's nothing like <laughs> it's nothing new. But like I've tried, I I do my best now to just like not, yeah, not I, have to say. It. I, I was very immature, <clears throat> but like because we agreed. The, what, what we communicated was like we'll see each other in a month and talk to each other uh-huh. you know but um we didn't end up doing that and then she said she was busy but then on the day she was just like she texted carl saying she texted my boy <laughs> she texted my boy saying oh are you at bram right now i want to hang out i'm i'm not doing it like i'm not doing anything i was like this okay. whore, bro. I was and, then, like, and then your and then your boy was gonna pull another uh, another yeah. one, another quick one. Fuck you, bro. I'm like punching the air. <laughs> but I was just but that that and like another thing. She's just like, oh, I'm busy with like school shit. And then she was just like on her story. She was um she was at a bar with some other shorty, which I don't fucking like till this day. She's lesbian. <laughs> the short so, one, <laughs> yeah, the short one. <laughs> so that's why, that like, I, what I was basically saying I was just like, how can you supposedly love me if you can't even spend like an hour with someone who you fucking said you loved? You know, like. I think that's like selfish. That was my justification of like why you didn't, but maybe I was just being a fucking dramatic fuck, you know. But I mean, didn't she feel different at that point already? Yeah. So that's why. So don't fall in love, kids. It hurts too much. It hurts too much. Um, <laughs> speaking of falling in love, since it's Valentine's, um, so we have a threesome the... in this <laughs> car. In this car. That's how the car's all fogged up. <laughs> We don't know what Valentine's is this year, uh, in this year, but for the yeah. past year, maybe you haven't known. Um, what would you say to someone that's like that's like cheesed at, at the whole idea of Valentine's? Because for me, I'd be like, yo, just shut the fuck up. Like, the, like, <laughs> like it's 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 at the end of the day, it's a it's it's a day about love, you know. It doesn't matter. It's like if, Easter. If you're gonna be sad about it, just 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 fuck off. Like silently, it's just only twenty four hours. It's like yeah. Easter and Halloween, bro. Fuck off. I don't care. <laughs> Plus, like, bro, like your your time's gonna come anyways. You know? Exactly. You know? Exactly. You just gotta wait. You just gotta be patient. That's Do you it. guys feel like inadequate after the breakup, or like did you feel super flawed and like you could have been better? A hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. 100%. But like, do you hold do you hold that to yourself? Like, 
you're like, oh, it's in me. It's like, I, I can't let it go. Like, I have to make this, like, I don't even have to change yourself. I mean, eventually, like, you'll have the, you'll have the chance to, to do it. Or, yeah, or... at least for me, like, I was telling you a story in the car earlier, and I was like, last time I was pissed mm. was when I was three years ago. <clears throat> or your ex three years ago. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> fuck! I gotta keep, I gotta edit this shit properly. Let's call her Sid. Oh, no. no. I was gonna say Sid from Ice Age, and then you, you did I'll Ice call Age. her Diego. Or like, Manny. <laughs> Manuel? Emmanuel, Emmanuel's sister. She's actually sweet. I know. <laughs> Yo, Polina? Come on, bro. Polina's sweet! Bro, no one's like, yo, come on, come on. Come on. Okay, okay, alright. Okay, right, 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 right. right. Add ease, right, add ease. Right, right. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> what the fuck were we talking about? Uh, we were Valentine's. talking about Valentine's and like, what do we say to people if they're, you know, if they're Jesus. being sad. Oh yeah, your, your time's gonna come. Yeah. I feel like I, I had another thing. Oh yeah, last time I was pissed, pissed. was when I was with her. Mm -hmm. So like, I like work so fucking hard because to change at least because I don't know before I used to be a fucking piece of shit We <laughs> just get angry all the time, dude, and I was like dude I'm not losing another person like who I care about in my yeah. life dude She was yeah. like my best friend and like just to have it and like that because of my actions because I didn't know how to control my anger was just stupid and that's why I, at least for me I was like, okay, dude, I'm never gonna get angry at someone again My advice is what's your advice? You'll forget because there'll always be another. And that's fucked, no, but it's true. <laughs> it's true. I, I mean, that's like that, that's yeah. fucked, but it's true. I mean, like the the feelings of like all of that you were wishing for something that what that you had before. You'll have it with someone else, or you'll have something different. And it's just like, yeah, one day you'll have someone else. You'll forget those. You won't forget the memories, but they won't mean as much to you because you're yeah, making. Yeah, the new feelings will go away. But <laughs> yeah, because be you're away. you're you're making new ones. Like you'll yeah. always have someone else. And also for everyone who breaks up, unlike those like, oh fuck, I wasn't good enough and shit like that. Just remember, we're all human. We're all flood. We're all horny. <laughs> we're all horny. <laughs> anyway, yeah, but like, don't 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 take it too hard. Like we're all human. Everyone's a different person. Like. Everyone's built differently. You can't you can't assume that someone's gonna um what the fuck was I gonna say? <laughs> yeah, I can read your fucking mind. <laughs> Wait, I forgot. <laughs> well, how the fuck am I supposed to know? <laughs> <laughs> I, I totally blanked out, bro. But yeah, um, anyway, everyone's human. That's it. When Just, um, you're not perfect. What what are your like perspectives? on finding like love right now at this moment of your life like are you guys COVID? are we talking about covid really no 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 just, just, just you being no. you just like trying to find love like are you guys actively looking for it or because for me like dude for the past three years i said this in my video for the past three years i was actively not trying to look for someone because like i don't want to hurt again but like then it just feels like fucking nothing dude like it literally feels like nothing yeah. and I'd rather be hurt right now, but I'm also yo yo man's have been out of the game for like fucking for like three years <laughs> plus fucking two uh, two years and like eight months, so like yeah. a good five five and a half years I haven't been in the game, so it's, uh, <laughs> it's a tough one out here for for your boy. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I, at least for me, I, I'm not for me. You're not. I, what the fuck? You're not. What do you mean? Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. I'm not because I'm not afraid to admit this, but I still have feelings for her because, okay. like, you know. Yeah. That's a fucking long. That's if you if you think about it, that's yeah, a know, quarter right? of my life. That, yeah. That's what I said. <laughs> that's a quarter of my life. And yeah, you were saying that yesterday, dude. I'm yeah. just like, wait a minute, that's like at least 40%. Yeah. I yeah. mean, since you remembered, at least. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like, like that shit's like a, a huge time. chunk of my life and like a, a huge part of myself is is owed to, to that time I spent with her, you know? Yeah. I don't think I'd be the same person I am now if I didn't spend that time with her. It, t it took me like two years to um, forget about her. Yeah. yeah. It's still like a long fucking time. That was like a three year relationship. Yeah. Or almost three years. For for my I guess my first love, let's say. <laughs> um, I think it took like a year I think it looked two years almost, cause dog. I, I straight up was trying to get back with her like a year after. Really? Like no <laughs> I mean we'd like talk and I'd be like, Oh, um 
will you think this will work out again? Mm. And then, you know, she, she said, she's like, nah. And I'm like, mm. oh, fuck. I mean, you still kept chasing even after she said no? Uh, you know what? I never explicitly said it, but I kind of was. Dog, you're not, you're not a hopeless romantic. You're just hopeless at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I kind of was, and it was just like, nah, man, I need to, like, focus on what I need to do. So, yeah, I was kind of out of the game for, like, three years, and then I met someone last year, and it just didn't work out. We broke up, like, six, four months ago. Mm, so, I'm not, actively, I'm not actively looking, but I'm just, like, I'm vibing. I'm vibing on Hinge. Was it hard? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, hit your boy up on Hinge. <laughs> Sponsored by Hinge. <laughs> My name's Miguel. Oh, my God. My name's Miguel on Hinge. <laughs> That is my new one inch though. <laughs> but I, w- I wouldn't I wouldn't actively look too cause like like one if 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 I get accepted to school, yeah. know, long distance long distance is yeah, not it. Yeah, bro, you're gonna be like what nah. eight hours away, six uh, hours away. Yeah, a man loves his cuddles, you know. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> but, but um, get a body pillow of me. Yeah, get a dude, get a <laughs> pillow. A what? But a wife me. pillow. <laughs> But I'm all, I'll print Joaquin face on it, dude. No, okay, I'll, I'll get Raylo Black's body, but Woo! then I'll print Joaquin's face. No, no, I'll, uh, what's it called? Autumn Falls? Ooh. I don't know. I don't know those ones. Whoa! Hey, you do? I don't know those ones. But, um... Autumn Falls. <laughs> no, that, that's like one thing. At least uh, now, I don't want to get in a relationship for the next 10 years. Just because, like, um, like you said with school... Um, but it could just be like at this point of our lives because I feel like right now um, But like a serious one like you're not trying to get into I'm a not trying one? to get into serious I'm not trying to get in a serious relationship for the next 10 years because I want to focus on like the shit I want to do and especially like a lot of people are fucking confused on what they want to do and Just expending a lot of that time to someone like trying to make yourself a good partner I want. I don't want to say it's wasted time, but like it's just a lot of time you can use into trying to know yourself, trying to figure out what you want to do. Like I feel like I have a good sense of who I am and what I want to do, but like I still get fucking confused at times, and I'm like mm. still aimless. I'm like, oh fuck, am I doing this right? But if I'm like putting all that time to trying to be like a good boyfriend, like I'm gonna be like. 30 and then not figure out myself still and then be like all fucked up because so my you, girl just leave me she like you know but, but would you still want to like just date you know i'd want to date for sure but you, I, I don't want to get into a serious into a relationship, serious relationship. Yeah. Mm, okay. that would okay. be um not a good idea i mean in my opinion just invest invest more into yourself than that other person yeah like at the end of the day you're stuck with yourself. You're touching yeah. yourself at night. <laughs> no one else can do that for you, all right? <laughs> well, what are you going to do when you're single, huh? <laughs> you ain't wrong. <laughs> but, um, yeah, let's finish this list and then wrap this up. Better to go so high and crash down. We kind of talked about it already, but, like, we'll just go over it again. But, um, yeah, it, it is, like I said, it is better to fall in love and hurt. Like, it hurts like fucking hell, but it's better to do that than just to fucking and feel nothing, nothing dude. Yeah, it's, for your, it's for your creative uh, self, too. I know, yeah. <laughs> like, put more, uh... Put more emotion into yeah, it. Yeah, you put more in touch with your feelings. What do, you, what do you say to people who are just like, I'm good with being single no matter what? Yeah, I guess you don't want to experience life, baby. <laughs> I don't just... think that's true. Yeah, though, but like, like... The, you know how like, okay, the... I'm, I'm, uh, what do you call that? Asexual. asexual. <laughs> I, I respect, I respect, I respect. I respect <laughs> no, I mean like, but, but, yeah, but... The average person, like, needs their fucking princess to their prince and their prince to their princess, you know yeah. what I mean? Or their prince to their prince or their princess to their exactly, princess, Exactly, exactly, you know? exactly. You mean, you mean the unaverage fools? <laughs> 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 but, um, but yeah, I think, I think... Like, I even remember, like, back in high school, so many people would say, like, oh, I never want kids, I never want kids. I'm like, I'll talk to you in 10 years from now. Yeah. <laughs> Let's have this exact convo, bro. <laughs> bro, that was actually one thing that I broke up my ex over. What? You don't, she, she didn't, didn't want, want kids? kids? Wait, 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 like, the recent one? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Damn, I, I mean, there was, like, other, like, complications, but, yeah, mainly she didn't want kids. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, you can't build a relationship. Like, it's good that you figure that out sooner than later. Yeah. Appreciate being alone and not. This guy can't read his own writing. Yet. I know, dude. Not letting. He's gonna need to go back in school. <laughs> I actually don't know what the fuck this says. Appreciate being alone. Feeling alone, not letting. And not letting anyone in. Oh, that's yeah, yeah. yeah. So what I told him is that um, it's easy to build a bubble and not um, 
let anyone inside that bubble because you're too vulnerable. You feel like mm. um, you're, you're too vulnerable, or you can build that bubble and just let anyone in to just comfort you. True. Mm. What do you feel about that? Are y'all open? <laughs> um. <laughs> Fuck, I, I feel know. like I don't care. Just ask me, and I'll say it. But, I, like I'm not gonna exclaim it. You don't. Know I mean? do it subconsciously. <laughs> like I was telling my friends this. I'm like, yo, I think I talk too much when people ask the right questions. Oh no, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, like if someone asks, I'll let them know. Even yeah, like, especially with girls, because you know, girls are like so much in tune with their emotions and their feelings. Yeah. So they know what questions to ask, uh-huh. and then when they ask me, I'm just like, why the fuck am I saying these, yo? <laughs> 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 like, I, I, I wanted to keep this to myself, but you know, you, you're asking good questions right now. No, I get, I, I'm kind of, I'm with Joaquin. Like, if they ask, I'll let them know, you know? Yeah, but... Yeah, I'll just, like, I'm, I'll I'm, just say it, you know? <laughs> yeah, they won't even have to ask. I mean, I, I mean yeah. <laughs> I mean, before, before I was super closed off. I think, like, after the short one, I was super closed I kinda, off. I kind of want to be more closed off again. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, to be honest. I mean, it's like, reserve your own feelings for yourself type thing. But yeah. Like, yeah, for me, it's like, I don't care too much anymore because it's just part of who I am. I don't really need to hide it. If mm. someone someone has a question about it, like, I'll just let you know. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't need to, uh, I don't know, I don't need to hide my true self like that anymore. It's just like... That's good. That's I, good. I am who I am, and it's just like, I accept that. <clears throat> and if you can't, bye-bye. <laughs> Last one. It's 40%, 30% love. I don't even know what that is, <laughs> dude. <laughs> I, I said that if you only love yourself um, 20%, Someone could cover, come around and give you 30% of love, and then you'd be like, holy shit, that's a lot. But that's literally fucking failing. A fa- that's a failing grade. Mm. 15 math. <laughs> <laughs> Even this guy got it. <laughs> uh. But that's, that's why like um, people say that you need to love yourself 100%, so that yeah. that person can go above 100%, you know, and, and give you more than, more, than what is, more than what is needed, you know? Do you guys think you love yourself like hundred percent? Right no, now? no, no. no. I'm re- like, I I accept who I am. I don't entirely love myself. Like I have fucking <laughs> days where I'm like, yo man, I just want to lay in bed and like, and like just just watch shows, you know. And I fucking uh, hate that about myself mm-hmm. that I can't just you know fucking relax. That mm-hmm. I always have like. You need something to do. Yeah, yeah. Go meditate. I don't know, can you? I can't. I physically cannot meditate. I can meditate. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can meditate, yeah. Joaquin. Bro, it's hard. I've never tried. What What would um make you guys love yourself? Dude, that's too much self-discovery. Dude, I, I feel like I'll find it when I go to school, yo. Yeah, I mean, like... So? I think so, yeah. I feel like when you're settled with a lot of other things in your life, I feel like it'll be more accepting of... What I don't know who you are, what you're doing. That's why I can't fucking wait to go to school, yo. That's what I'm saying. It's kind of like I mean, in a way, education and stuff is some makes people think of like, oh, identity crisis. What the fuck am I doing? Yeah. Like you know what I mean? Like when people like start freaking out about school and they have to go into a program. I mean, I dropped that. I dropped out of psychology, and then I mean, Ralph dropped out of engineering. <laughs> you were then, in engineering. Yeah, I was engineering. <laughs> you're fucking right. <laughs> I don't know the psychology it was really hard. <laughs> this guy kept pushing back his calc like every single year. <laughs> he was supposed to take first year calc and he's in third year. No, don't let anyone know I'm taking it next semester. <laughs> I think it next summer. I think it this summer. He still hasn't taken it. <laughs> Bro, I'm taking my first year Kevin Bayer. I'm joking. Oh it's, I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm actually doing Kevin Bayer right now. Shout out to uh, Miss uh, Miss Muscatello. Uh, Miss Cra- uh, Miss Crasis. <laughs> She's taking high school. Yeah, yeah. Taking high courses. School. I failed both their courses. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Go, 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 go. Yeah, I think with me, um, I don't know, if I'm just doing, if I just, I think I need to, like, explore more intrinsic, values and goals can you, can, um, can you define that like I don't know. if i were to make just like make videos all day that's i'm doing it because i just enjoy doing it but like right now i'm building websites to get money if i build websites to i mean if i make videos to make money like if i were to just make videos that'd be fine for me you know mm. I, I have like opportunities lined up so that's why i feel like i'm gonna like myself more when that stuff happens but i also think that's like a bad perspective to look at it because then your happiness will always rely on like external circumstances so that's why i'm still trying to like figure it out myself and 
I just don't fucking know, dude. <laughs> I'm just trying to fucking figure it out. Okay, wait, wait, wait. One question, one question. Okay, well, go, go, go. Would you go back to your exes if you had the chance? Like, right now? <clears throat> I mean, okay, okay. There's a dangerous question. Okay, there's a dangerous question. Okay, and, and, and if there's more than one, which one? <laughs> yeah, that's for you. I'm joking, I'm joking. That's, that's a question yeah, for, that's you. for you. What about you? <laughs> I've dated one girl. What? Yeah, I'll go, I'll go back to. Uh, you know. Oh, no! No, 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 no! Not be too fucked. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, let's say not. Okay, you wouldn't. You wouldn't go with X. Not okay. Yeah. <laughs> I want to go to X. You want to? You want to go back? You want to go back? What, what about you? I mean, it's pretty recent. It's like, I would. I would. If I can ask, what are the conditions of that? Of going back? I've been in love with her for four years. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean. Okay, 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 okay. But, but, but I'm saying like there was obviously something that made it like. Like happen, and then like, what are the conditions to like bring it back? Like, what mm. what separated you, and what has to be done to like keep you connected in that sense, in that romantic sense? Um, <clears throat> if ever you go back together. <clears throat> okay, so this is the teaser of the video. <laughs> Again, because I need, oh, I need it as a teaser. I need it as a teaser. <laughs> okay, okay. Teaser the the, 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 but like, would you go back with your ex? What are the conditions that made you separate, and what are the conditions you have to work on to bring it back? Mm. And would you work on that right now, mm. or if you had the chance to? And then cut. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got him. We got him. Bro, okay, say it. <laughs> Things in mind. <laughs> okay. That's the that's the TikTok right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 yeah. Okay, no, no, but for real, because I real. I also have. Okay, go, go, go. go. Okay, my memes. Okay, so the first thing was like, um, well, obviously, okay, but those are like conditions that can't be met, like not wanting kids. Yeah, I don't know if you can work on that. Like, you know what I mean? It's kind of like, oh, you work, you go into the relationship. You're like, maybe she'll change her mind. And then what if she never changes her mind? Then don't go back. Well, yeah, but I'm saying if you if I stuck it out, what would happen then? If I stuck it out five years and then you like still doesn't want kids. you still want you don't want kids? Not even with me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, what can you do? Um, I mean, and there there's other things like. I guess in terms of activity, she's well, not very. She's a very homey person, mm. and I can't like do. I feel like you can fix on that. I don't know about the kid thing. Yeah, not the kid thing, but like she's a very homey person. She doesn't like going out. Yeah, like it's very hard for us to find things to do together. But yeah, not for real. And it's uh, I think another thing was, uh, okay, let's let's just say she has said health condition that really impedes a lot of other things that we can do oh so that's like, like mental that's or something physical both that's okay. something big right yeah that's something like am i willing to sacrifice for that like can i work around those conditions or am i i don't know am i it's gonna make her feel bad to be you know, that's what's called unconditional love you know yeah, but man, I don't know. I'm <laughs> joking, I'm joking. No, but like for real, it's like, oh, if are you gonna impede parts of your life for this one person? Mm. And can you do that? Can you sacrifice all of that? It depends on like, oh, you've been married, and oh, and then something comes up, then you have to sacrifice. But it's something like, oh, you got you guys just started dating, mm. and you don't. I don't know. You're not fully in there yet. Yeah. You're not like. You know what I mean? If Honestly, I would like if our values didn't match from the beginning, and I knew that I would so, just yeah. I would just break up. Uh, that's me personally, because like <laughs> one thing that happened to me in grade eleven was like I wanted to get into Buddhism, but my ex was just like I'm not I'm not marrying anyone who's not Catholic. I was like, oh, 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 I was like, I, that I should have just broken up with her then. Go with Jen, you know. She she had a crush on me at the time. Uh, yo, Jen, what are you saying? Yo, Jen, what's up? What she you're, did? You're really what the fuck? Though. You're really missing that. Did, what did. the fuck? That's fucked up. Really That's a joke, that. Jen. If you're watching this, <laughs> the one the one that got away. <laughs> but yeah, okay. but yeah, how about you? How about you? 
Um, if I were to go back, fuck. For me, uh, on my part, mm. I feel like what she would have wanted is for me to to understand better. Because there's a difference between listening and understanding. Mm. I would have I would have uh. tried to work on my um like communication skills more. Like, but even then we would talk a lot. But on my part, at least, I I didn't. I, I, I often wouldn't um, understand where she was coming from and but on her part was it also miscommunication um yeah because it wasn't like I guess um, as up front yeah like the way she said things weren't as concrete mm. yeah 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 there you uh. go yeah all right, guys. I think that's the end of the podcast. Yeah, my fucking feet are frozen. I know I'm yeah. fucking cold as shit. I, I couldn't turn the heater on because uh, it gas. ruined the sound and it's gas. But thanks for watching today's video. Remember to stay on average, fools. All right, see you. <laughs>